Hello everybody, Jennifer here. Do you need to go to an 80s party or do you need a time travel? Stay tuned because this is the perfect tutorial just for you. Alrighty, so to start off this um, tutorial, I'm going to do my hair. And a few things that you'll need is hairspray. I specifically use Big Sexy Hair. It's great because you get a lot of volume for what you're using and it lasts for a really long time. I'm going to play with Got To Be A Defiant um, Pomade. It's another great way to control your hair. You could use whatever product that's going to hold your hair. Um, also, I am going to use a teasing brush, but you could use like a rat tail comb as well. As long as you have that teasing effect, you could even tease your hair with your fingers. So first thing I'm going to do is create a half ponytail and then scooch it to the side. So I'm just using my ears as a guide and then just kind of doing one of these. And my hair is not even combed. I washed it last night and my hair just automatically does that weird wavy. I'm going to comb it over to the side a bit. And I have a little elastic and just tie that up. And the easy thing about this, it's so messy and it's going to be messy and easy to work with. So easy stuff. All right. Once you get that elastic in, you just kind of tug on it, give it some volume. Now we're going to give it even more volume by teasing the heck out of that. And while you're teasing your hair, you could actually add some product. So I'm going to use the got to be, it's a pomade and I just use like, like something like and feel free to use a hair dryer if you need to. Another technique is you could just get hair like that and just pull it that way. Just strands and pull it like that. So whatever way works for you the best, this technique seems to be working out just fine. Get some hairspray. Get that volume going. So something like this. Feel free to be creative, but just side, simple side ponytail to start off with. So if you come follow me, we'll go ahead and get some makeup going. Here we go. All right, everybody, I'm back. I just kind of rotated my hair a little bit more so you could see a little bit more of the blonde. So we'll go ahead and get started with the makeup part. So just to kind of give you guys a background. So the makeup I'm about to do is not, it wasn't really common. It was pretty much something you would see in a fashion magazine. Ah! The mid eighties, if anything. Um, cause I know the hair probably, I have seen this hair in, um, a 1984 movie just to give you an idea. So I'm going to scooch my hair back just a little and we'll start with the eyes. And what I have is a palette that I got from target and it's not labeled, but it's great. If you're like me, you're a beginner of the, Ooh, did I kill it? The universe of makeups. Ah. So, so many colors. It comes in handy, like especially for Halloween or something like that. I'm going to use this little brush right here to um, apply that on. I'm going to use this color right here to start off with, just so we have a nice foundation. Put on. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, Lordy. Just need to make it a little bit more even. I'm going to put some down here as well. So here's my pink layer. I'm going to try this blue right here. And I'm going to use my bigger brush. This guy. It's like my mom's makeup from the 80s. <laughs> Hold on, that's the stuff. 
up all the way to her eyebrow. So I might have to do a little bit of adjustment in a minute. I'm just matching my eyebrows. And what I'm doing is I'm using my pupils as my guideline so I know where to stop with the blue. So that's what I got. <laughs> my contacts are going nutty. So I'm going to add a third color in there. I think what I'll do is for that third color that goes to the eye, I'll use this one right here. It's like a little violet, but with a shimmer to it. So I'm going to take it from here to there. Eyelid consumed by makeup. So I'm just patting that in there. Pat it in. This white one right here. Right there, that one. And just put it in my by my eyebrows. Just a dab. She has like a really shimmery look. Need more pink. So let me make an adjustment. Because what the gal has is pink going all across, almost with the same pink that I used from the beginning. I probably should be using my eyeliner <laughs> brush, but whatever. <laughs> so now I have more pink going on underneath my eyes. So that was the style back then. So let me get a little bit closer. So that's what it looks like. It's just the eyeshadows. So now I'm going to put my eyeliner on. Is this yes? I'm going to put on the eyeliner. Nothing special with that. I'm using a NARS um, liquid eyeliner, and I'm just going to do a standard, no cat size or anything special like that. Just really simple. It'd probably be more accurate if I had a pencil eyeliner. When you look at a lot of the older magazines, you could see that. It's pencil versus actual liquid liner. So here's what it looks like. I'm just being lazy, but Again, they would work probably best with a pencil eyeliner. Now it's mascara time. And I am using Physicians Formula Organic Wear. I like the brush because it's the type of brush that you could actually... It has... See how fancy that is? It goes all different directions. So I'm going to do that. And so that's what it looks like there. Okay. So done with the eyes part. So now I am going to do the contour and blush part. And this is the part that defines the 8 is. And this is my Ru Rumeo palette. I'm probably going to use just a hint of this and this so that way I have a nice contrast going. And I have my brush that I got from, it's called BS Small, but I'm sure it's Beauty something. I forgot what the S stands for, but it doesn't mean the other BS. Fishy cheeks. And very, just very defined. There's a lot of definition here. So I'm going to contour all of this. My neck. And this part of my head right there. Well, the way she has it on her face it looks really shimmery but I just have this matte stuff so I'm going to work with what I got. And highlight. Lots of highlight. Lots and lots of highlight makes me look like a ghost. 
So <laughs> now to the fun part, which is the blush. Now one huge thing I noticed in the 80s makeups, or at least in the fashion magazines, is the blush is utilized as contour. So it's like all the way here, just instead of your normal skin tones for the contour, it's that. And I actually bought new blush. Um, it's called Intense, Intense Blush Quad from City Color and it is cruelty free and it has a little bunny rabbit that's happy. So here's the palette that I got and I'm definitely gonna use this one because yes. So the way the lady has it, it's almost like an L shape, like that. So let's copy that and see what we get. I'm scared. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to blend a lot. <laughs> I'm using a lighter brush to hopefully blend this out. Otherwise, I just look scary bruja. There you go. And what they also do is they connect this right here to the blush. So I'm just kind of just doing a little brush over there with that and trying to get that in my hairline. Ooh, Lord, that's heavy doo doo. And I am going to use some of the highlight again from the contour to hopefully blend this craziness out because it's too, it's too road warrior. And I guess the fan brush is for blending, so I'm going to blend the heck out of that. It's also great for um, fallout. Now I'm going to do some lips. And this is how I do my technique. Lipstick on first, then the lip liner, but. And this is a candied apple from Maybelline. Let me show you guys what it looks like. And I'm gonna put the lip liner on now. There you go. Tilly. I'm just doing the exaggerated little pointy lips because that was on a lot of record albums. And let's add a finishing touch, shall we? All right, you guys, so here is the final look. So lots of contour, lots of big stuff, big shoulder pads to meet the era's needs, lots of pearls. So I hope you guys had as much fun as I had with making this video of how to look like you're from 1980, mid 80s. Um, so I wanna thank you all for watching. Um, stay tuned because I am going to have more videos, possibly even more time travel videos. So I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much and thanks for watching. Bye everybody.